Hello, it's Alimek. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to flush your engine coolant on your Toyota Camry or any other vehicle in an easy and effective way. Here I got my 4 liter of concentrated coolant and 4 liter of distilled water. You can use pre-diluted coolant as well. A quick way to know when you have to change the coolant by measuring the voltage between the coolant and the ground. It should be less than 0.3 volts, but in the manual it says every 30,000 or 2 years. And my car, 3 years old, so I'm gonna change it anyway. Before working on the engine, make sure the engine cold to touch and the temperature is zero. To make the job easier, I'm gonna jack up the car, so make sure the gear shifter on parking position and the e-brake engages. And secure the rear tires. For jacking up the front wheels together, always use the subframe. Okay, the car on a jack stand, it's very safe to work on. I'm gonna remove the engine cover to get access to radiator drain valve. For removing the cover, we just have to undo these 10 mm screws and some plastic clips. Here is the drain valve located on Toyota Camry and most of the cars. If your car doesn't have one, remove the lower radiator hose to drain the coolant. By removing the cap, it will drain faster. We are not only flushing the coolant, we also gonna wash it with distilled water and then fill it up with brand new coolant. So I'm gonna take a sample to see the difference. For flushing, I recommend removing the thermistor. It will let the distilled water circulate through the engine. If you don't remove it, you have to wait till the engine reaches idling temperature and then opens. But I don't want the engine get that hot and then I have to wait till it gets cold. By undoing two 10 mm nuts, the thermostat cover comes off. That was the top one. And here is the bottom one. Using only the gasket and then put the cover back on so it doesn't leak while we flush it with distilled water. Okay now we're gonna put the thermostat cover back so we fill it with distilled water to remove any leftover coolant. And also don't forget to tighten the radiator drain valve. It's full now, no bubbles. Start the engine to circulate and turn the heater on so it cleans the heater core as well. We can let the engine idle for three minutes. We can already see it's mixing with the coolant. Okay, it's been three minutes. Turn the engine off and drain the distilled water. This is the first flush, I'm gonna take a sample, you have to repeat the process till it's clear. That was the second flush, it's clear. It really depends on the car, sometimes it takes 3 to 4 flushes.
I remove the reservoir to drain the old coolant and then put it back. We just completed cleaning from the old coolant. I will remove the cover and put the thermostat valve back so you fill it with coolant. Put the gasket back on and remember, this is how the direction was. I'm using Toyota Long Life Red Coolant mixing 50 to 50 ratio with distilled water. For the radiator I didn't mix the coolant, so for every liter of coolant I pour 1 liter of distilled water. I only mix it for the reservoir. Now we're gonna start the engine to let the bubble out and refill it with more coolant. This is the mixed one, I will fill the reservoir. and the reservoir at the full line. We are gonna wait till we see the fan starts and then we know that the thermostat valve opened and the coolant circulating and letting the bubbles out of the system. The engine at the idling temperature, I see no bubbles, I'm gonna remove the funnel. So we use 3 liter of concentrated coolant and 3 liter of distilled water. So you will need 6 liter if you buy pre-diluted coolant. With draining and flushing twice, we come from this to this. Maybe there is not much difference from the old and the new coolant, but look what I found in the old coolant. And that was how to flush the engine coolant. If the video was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.